So hi, this is Stefan here from Ceremony Software. We are showing the new Melodyne 4 here at NEM. And i give you a quick run through to the new features then. So one of the main new features uh, is the workflow when you're working on multiple tracks with a plugin. What's new now in Melodyne 4, that you have a list inside the plugin window. You have a list of all tracks that you have uh, inserted Melodyne in. For example, here I see one vocal line, I just switch to the other. I look on a different track, but I don't need to change the, the window again. And the, the beautiful thing about it is, is that I can now also select multiple tracks at once. Like this. And then I can now all, all edit them in one go. I could, for example, change the pitch of, of them. And I don't need to do this, in my example, 12 times. Uh, because it's all done now with a few mouse clicks. So, uh, this speeds up the workflow and it's uh, obviously much more uh, convenient to look at the tracks in one window. For example, I have this high vocal here and I now with a shift, uh, with a command click, I, I select the lower vocal and probably a, a mid vocal too. And I can easily see where they don't align. Just listen to it. So obviously this note needs to be uh, back in time, like this, and the second one here also. Or I can just do it with a with a double click with the corresponding tool. So I'm very fast because I see everything lined up together, and so I'm, I'm quick with my edits. The second main feature in Melodyne 4 is about the tempo. Let me switch to the standalone version then. Because when you buy Melodyne 4, you get both the plugin version and the standalone version. And here in the standalone version, I loaded a, 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 um, a recording, obviously played without a click. So in this recording, we don't uh, had a click originally when it was played. But with Melodyne, you can later on turn a click to it because Melodyne finds the tempo fluctuations in the recording. You can even zoom in there to see all the small differences the musicians played. And the nice thing about this is that you can now do several things with the tempo. For example, you could just dra drag in some files, like here I have a kind of ordinary loop, which was a machine drum loop playing with a, a steady tempo. And if I, I drop it in here to my live recording, then the drum machine will follow the live musicians, not the other way around. So just listen to it. So no need to start recording with the click, you can always uh, do this later. And of course you can then uh, work on the timing as well. You can uh, subtle changes or, or large changes. You can slow down just one beat in the recording and all the tracks will follow. So you're totally free now with working in uh, variable tempo. And the next thing, the third major uh, stuff I want to show you is about the sound. I'll give you a different example here. We have now added a section which we call the sound editor. And here you see the harmonic spectrum of your track. If you just listen to this guitar. So you can see the overtone spectrum. These are not fixed frequencies, they are relatively to the note. For example, I could alter the volume of the fourth overtone, which is a different frequency depending on which pitch the note is on. So it's a very musical kind of sound editing where you can go from the very extreme and we you can do this manually by, by pushing the bars or we have macro controls here to change them uh, kind of remote controlled. You can do the same thing for the dynamics, like there's a compressor built in it. You operate with just one slider, but you're changing the dynamics of each node, which is simply impossible with other programs. I can turn out, take out the VAR uh, effect here. I can even exaggerate it and all this kind of stuff.
So these are the three main things. Workflow, especially when it's about multi-track recording. This sound editing thing, it's useful for subtle changing in your mix because you do it on every track, very subtle or very extreme when you're into sound design or whatever. And the tempo thing, which frees you now because you don't have to necessarily record to a click, which isn't um, the thing you want in certain genres at least. Right. Thank you. Yeah.